Now here, we're subtracting a mixed number. So for this first question, we have 2 and 2 fifths minus 1 and 4 fifths. When we're subtracting mixed numbers, we see if we can subtract the fraction first. But here, we start with just 2 fifths and we need to subtract 4 fifths. So what we need to do is exchange one of our holes for 5 more fifths. So 1 less than 2 is 1 and that means that we can add the denominator to the numerator. 5 plus 2 is 7. So 1 and 7 fifths is the same as 2 and 2 fifths. So now we can subtract 1 and 4 fifths. We subtract the fractions first and 7 fifths minus 4 fifths is 3 fifths because remember we keep the denominator the same. And now if we look at our whole numbers, because we've exchanged, we have 1 minus 1, so that's 0. So our answer is just 3 fifths. Next, we have 3 and 1 quarter, but we need to subtract 1 and 3 quarters. If we only start with 1 quarter, we can't take 3 quarters away, so we need to exchange with one of our holes. 1 less than 3 is 2, but that gives us 4 more quarters. So if we add the denominator to the numerator, 4 plus 1 is 5, so 2 and 5 quarters is the same as 3 and 1 quarter, but now we can subtract 1 and 3 quarters. So if we subtract the fraction part first, the denominator stays the same in our answer, and 5 minus 3 is 2. Then we can subtract the whole number, and 2 minus 1 is 1, so our answer is 1 and 2 quarters. And we can show fraction bars to see what we did here. So we started with 2 and 2 fifths, so that's 2 wholes and 2 fifths. But when we looked at what we were subtracting, we saw that we needed to take 4 fifths away. So we exchanged one of our wholes for 5 more fifths. That gave us 1 and 7 fifths. So then we could take away 1, 2, 3, 4 of those fifths to leave 3 fifths. And we were subtracting one whole, so that left us with just 3 fifths. Next, we had three and a quarter, so three holes and one quarter. But when we looked at what we were subtracting, we saw that we needed to subtract three quarters. So we had to exchange one of our holes for four more quarters. That gave us two holes and five quarters. So then we could take away three quarters and then subtract the one hole to give us what's left in blue which is one whole and two quarters.